12 years after the release of the highly credible NEC3, a new NEC contract was formed. In March 2017, the NEC4 contract was announced, with usage starting from June 2017. In this video, we will try and break down some of the key changes that NEC4 brings, and show how the changes introduced aim to simplify processes, reduce disputes, and make things easier to understand. Before we start, if you're enjoying our videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon to get alerts when we upload new content. Terminology NEC4 made some changes to the terminology used, aiming to make things more up to date and understandable. Employer is now client, works information is now scope. No more him or his, all new contracts are gender neutral. Risk register now becomes early warning register making it clear between project risk management and early warning management. And employers' risks are now clients' liabilities. New features, value engineering. Under NEC3, there was an incentive for contractors to propose value engineering under target cost options. The incentive being gain share. However, this incentive did not expand to option A and B. This is corrected in NEC4 with the introduction of value engineering percentage. A percentage is agreed by parties at contract draft that if a price is reduced due to the contractor's value engineering, the agreed percentage will be retained in the price. Program acceptance. Unlike compensation events under NEC 3, there was no provision for a program being accepted in the absence of a response from the project manager. This is corrected under NEC 4. After two weeks of no response, the contractor may issue a prompt notice. Consequently, the program is deemed acceptable a week after the prompt if no response is given. Fee percentage. There is now only one fee, with no separate fee for subcontract works. Payments. The contractor must submit an application for payment, and unlike NEC3, the project manager is not obliged to submit an assessment if they don't. Define cost. There is now a clear time-based process for defined costs to be agreed under cost-based contracts. This will avoid the scenario of clients looking to claim back some disallowed cost from years before the present date. This should result in a more respectfully, mutual and collaborative approach. Final account. There is now a time-based process for achieving conclusive evidence for a final account. This should make the process more clear and simple for both sides. New contracts. The following contracts are additions to the NEC suite of contracts. Professional Services Subcontract, Term Service Subcontract, Design, Build and Operate Contract, and Dispute Resolution Services Contract. A link to the full suite of NEC 4 contracts will be in the video description below. New Secondary Options NEC 4 introduces some new dispute resolution features for optional W clauses. A new concept called Senior Representatives is introduced. The senior representative would meet parties and try to resolve disputes prior to adjudication, applying to clauses W1 and W2. W3 is a new dispute resolution and avoidance optional clause targeted at the international market. There has also been many changes to NEC 4 X clauses. A link to our video which breaks down all NEC 4 X clauses will be in the description below. If you're enjoying these videos, why not check out some of our other playlists? We have the JCT series, quantity surveying principles, and general construction playlists. Matrone, a commercial hub for your business.